Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's Reggae and it is a mushroomy day because it's time for more mushrooms. Yes, as I predicted before, the mushrooms have returned with a new stage and this time it's not easy. So a fungal challenge yesterday, if you saw it, was extremely easy and if you didn't see it, was still extremely easy. A stage so easy that even I did not have difficulty with it, but today comes the return of the old do the stage, then get moved on to the other stage stage. A stage which I've had very little luck with so far, that being bad to worse and day of judgement. But this new one is called Tech Neurosis. And so if we go into it now, it is nuts and bolts insane. So a big jump from the level difficulty of a fungal challenge, which is like beyond easy. This is insane. And very difficult because the two stages consist of very different things. And if I had remembered to put it in, you would have seen at the start what they were. But if not, it's a surprise. But it might not be, but it might. But anyway, I have with me a lychee strategy because a lychee is the doctor and time traveled forward to get this event and has completed it. This is the strategy. My only alteration being having the Catornado instead of the Hurricat for more health instead of more damage because we're looking for critical hits, not actual damage because we're against metals at the start, hence why the level's called Nuts and Bolts. My concern is Alici's cats are a lot higher level than mine, but I can only try. Also, Alici's a lot more skilled than I am, but it, it's worth trying. So we're gonna go into the level and see what happens. So, attack, and into battle we go. The mushroom jumps up, laughing at me just as the cat would, knowing how terrible this is all gonna be. So, we are met with a wasteland, a destroyed wasteland of broken buildings and a metal cyclone. My oh my, I'm going to click on the tutorial and see what it says. Let's have a look. La la la, right. Metal cyclone away, Let, let's see what we do. I'm not great my monies, but it's a super metal hippo as I look back onto the screen. My oh my, hello sir. And a metal doge. You can probably figure why this level's called Nuts and Bolts. It's, it, oh I've deployed a castaway cat, that's not gonna help. Um, yeah, it's loads of metal stuffs. Like metal things everywhere. And the next level has nothing to do with metals. Which is gonna make this extremely difficult to deal with. Because of course, I had to have essentially two teams in one, because I can't change my team before the next level. So I have Hurricat with us, who should be able to do lots of criticals, having the fastest attack rate in the game. We have Puppet Master Cat, who should be able to slow at the enemies, and Michelangelo Cat to knock them back. But yeah, that's the limit of what we've got, are things like our Macho Lace Cat as for aliens, Neo Psycho Cat for aliens. So yeah, Castaway Cat for aliens. Did I say that, or did I not? Maybe, no, I don't think I did. And then we have kind of Valkyrie and Bahama for sort of, sort of general stuff. But Elichi hasn't deployed that yet on the tutorial, so neither will I. I'm just going to stall. So using all those Battle Cats language that you wanted me to. Here we go. Um, yeah, trying to stop these guys from getting to my base. On that note, what does Prox mean? P-R-O-C-S, used in terms of Battle Cats. What is a Prox? I would love to know. Please let me know. Thank you very much. So, what we have here... Metal, super metal hippo in fact, not just a metal hippo, a super metal hippo, being critical hitted, that metal doge is gone, we're knocking back the metal cyclone very effectively, critical hitting that super metal hippo, I believe this one is more buffed up than the one in the super metal hippo stage, because, well, that's like veteran difficulty I believe, but this, um, expert or veteran anyway. And this, this is insane, but we've got rid of him now, which is good. And Michelangelo Cat's doing a brilliant job in knocking about the Metal Cyclone. The brilliant thing about that, he doesn't have time to attack. And the great thing about the Puppet Master Cat, great strategy choice by Leechy there, is to stop the Cyclone. Usually the Cyclone would be whoosh, 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 so fast spinning around. But because of the sliding effect, the Cyclone can do barely anything. And so what we got, we've got it pinned up against the base pretty well. And so, yeah, I'm happy with how we're doing. But then again, the Cyclone, when the slowing effect stops, it rips through my army. So it's just a matter of, as Alicia says in the video, rinsing and repeating. So we're going to do that, and we're going to try 
and go through the level, just bringing out Hurry Cats when we can, bringing out Michelangelo Cats when we, when we can, and bringing out Puppet Master Cats when we can. And that's literally all we do. I believe, hopefully at least, that the Metal Cyclone is all that there will be on this level, and there won't be any other bosses that appear, because if there are, that would be a terrible shame, and this may get a whole lot more difficult. But yeah, if we just keep doing this, hopefully, we'll be fine, and we'll get on to the next level, where there should be some more things. Oh yes, a critical hit, that's good, knocked him back. This is good news, the cyclone's further back towards the base, this is good news indeed. Great thing about that, of course, is that he's not at our base, because going at full speed, he can take out our base in probably around a second. So I don't have much time if he does get too close. Double critical hit, that's, that's impressive. Caution to the wind! I want this guy to go away. He's getting actually worryingly close to my base. So yeah, oh Bahama! Good! That was a shot. He, he managed to knock them back, well edge them back a little bit, but every little helps. This cyclone battle will probably be quite a long fight. And with the sliding effect on, maybe if I get the Valkyrie as well. Yes, good, good. Well, I say good. It, it was a shot. I don't know if it did much damage or not. There's no real way of telling. But hopefully it was a shot that worked. That that would be good. It would be hopeful. So yeah, just try and keep back the cyclone because it's getting pretty close to my guys. I feel like my Valkyrie ain't gonna la be lasting much longer. But you never know. Here we go. Yeah, she's gone. But Bahamut gets another shot in. Maybe Bahamut keeps getting edged. But ed no, cyclone. There we go. Keeps getting edged back a little bit. Is it enough? Well, he's he's just destroyed my Bahamut. Oh no! Oh, this is bad! No! I was spawning the wrong things now. Oh dear, oh dear, no! No, this is bad! This is bad! Stay away! Stay away! Go away, Cyclone! Go away! No! Stay away! Stay away, please! No! My base! My base! No! No! Go away! Go away! Cat Cannon! Cat Cannon, where are you at? No! Well, well that, that's, that, that's awful. I'm gonna try it another time, and if I don't do as well, or, you know, just do as well, I'll cat food it. But I'm, I'm sure I can do much better than that, because that was diabolical. Oh no, I've cat fooded it! Oh, shrimp! Oh no! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, prime time shrimp. Flip nuts. Did not mean to do that. Oh no. Oh no. Why? Dirty cat food, no! So if I beat this stage, I'm not gonna get any gain from it anyway because I've just wasted 30 cat food. Why have I done that? If I still lose, this is going to be very bad. Very bad indeed. And that cat cannon wasn't good either. Oh no. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, this is not good. We, we critical hitted him though. He's gone back a little bit. Is, is that hopeful? I'm, I'm still a bit annoyed. I pressed the wrong button. But, you know, there we go. Good old Reggit battle catting. Ah, you see, you're a bit close to me there, mate. Um, I saw a double critical hit. Why are you not gone, Cyclone? Like, no! My Bahama's was about to get a shot on you and you just shredded him. This isn't fair. Hopeless. Oh! Surprise knockback! Come on! 
Come on! Please! No, wrong button pressed again! Why am I incapable? Please! Stay away, Cyclone! Do not come near my base! I'm not going to spend another 30 cat food accidentally or otherwise on you. Now go away, you green pile of grinning Cyclone. Be gone! Be gone! Locking him back, good. Some critical hits. Come on! What does it take to get rid of you, Cyclone? Stay away, my Michelangelo's will jump out at you. They will flay their arms in anger. Stay away. This is good. He's back at the base. What a turn of fortunes. He was at my base and now he's at his. How do you feel, Cyclone? How do you feel? This is how it feels to be on the verge of defeat yourself. Give me 30 cat fruit for a rematch. Bang a rang! We have just defeated that Cyclone. Yes. I'm liking that. That's good. Oh, yes. Boom in the room. We have just defeated the Metal Cyclone. After paying 30 cat food. Isn't ideal. It was accidental. But at least we've gone level on cat food. Assuming we get some completing this stage. Rather than, you know, going down on cat food. Yeah, that, that wouldn't be good. But the base is down. Excellent job. And 30 cat food. Energy fully recovered. Jolly good job. And there we go, special stage, space is the place, insane, unlocked. Take the challenge, currently used items will not carry over to this stage, so we're not using any items, that's fine. But yes, you know what, I'll take you up on your offer mate, I will go into space is the place. Let's do this, right, tutorial referencing, let's go. Da -da -da. Right, there's going to be a cellar boodle I think. It's raining in the destroyed city and here they are, the cellar boodle. What do we do? Leg cats, I believe. Let's go. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Yeah. So this is the sort of thing we have um, our macho legs cat and our castaway cat for aliens. They are phantasmic against aliens. Phantasmic being basically a variation on fantastic, which I've just kind of improvised. Oh no! Look at some morph. That's not good. What do we do? Alici has like a, a level 20 plus 50 Matcholo's cat. Mine's like, I don't know, 20 plus 30 at most. Will it hold up? Will it hold up against the might of this alien army? It's just a morph, Reggie. It's just a morph. You'll be fine. You got two of those grand fellows and now three. That morph ain't got anything on you. It will be. No, no, no. There's another morph. That's not good, but there you go, castaway cats, the brilliant effects there of stopping the morph and alien enemies generally for a little bit. But yes, hopefully if we cat spam a little bit, we can protect our macho legs cats and do some good business. But yeah, morphs, they're quite a lot of trouble these guys. Uh, I wouldn't want to go to some sort of morph party, I think it would be a little bit dangerous. These morphs just sparkling around. Like, moving backwards and charging forward at you, blowing you away. It's not very nice. We got rid of one of them. That's good. That's good news. That is very good indeed. Now, just one more morph. Hopefully, we can take this guy out. Can we? As you can see, the morph just stops us in our tracks as well as blowing us away. It's, it's not nice. Not nice. But hopefully, hopefully we can deal with this morph effectively and it will be good. Please? It will be good, please. Please. Please, no. We've got Croxo as well. Croxo and Morph. Y you know what that sounds like? That, that sounds like some sort of crime fighting team. Croxo and Morph. No, no, I, I would watch that. That sounds like a quality program. But anyway, Legs Cat's still having a bit of trouble destroying this Morph. He is, he's being a bit of a tank, I'll be honest. And... Believe me, when I say that this is really not the main enemy of the level, like really, really not. This is sort of really, really, really start of the level stuff. And as many times as I say really, it's just delay. We're just waiting for this morph guy to go, but nah, he's, he, he's intent on staying. If, if you don't mind, mm, that's nice, little tank cat 
whilst on the floor, but stopped whilst on the floor. So it's kind of sleeping in front of the morph. You should not sleep, battle cats. You should battle and win. <gasps> yes, morph destroyed. Must have been my incredibly inspiring speech. Oh no, look! Cyclones and... Oh, Galactic Overseer Nyandam. When I thought there was already too much Nyandam in the world, there's more Nyandam. This is, this is just ridiculous. This is not good at all. You know what I say to cheeky little Nyandams like you? The same thing every single time. Go away, Nyandam. Or something along those lines anyway, at least. We have an Imperator Sile as well, as well as Croxos and the aforementioned Cyclone. Just, just Nyandam pointing at me from behind. What's your point, Nyandam? W what are you trying to say? You trying to say that you're going to win? Because I feel like you're going to win. I feel like you're going to win pretty easily. The, the, the whole winning thing is, is going to be a thing you're going to be doing. Like, very soon. Yeah. Uh, okay. Wow. 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 Well, that, that, that's just a bit rubbish. Oh, dear.